Well, salute to Mondo there, people inside of the viewerverse. Tis ah! Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm over in No Man's Sky. Let's jump on over into game, shall we, people? Now, I've been sending these frigates out on frigate missions quite often. Let's go and hit this up. Let's go and debrief my frigate commanders, little green man in Zoom Zoom. There we go. Lovely jubbly. And you know what? I'm going to be sending out some more frigate missions, but as soon as I've done that, people, I'm going to be heading over to the Nexus because there's a new jetpack trail that's unlocked-ocated. Anyway, let's go and send these frigates out on another mission. People might as well get that going because I like to do two things at once. I guess I do. So, you know what? We'll do the freestyle one. It's a two-hour one. Okay. Seems to be the shortest one that we've got today. Two hours from now. Okay. Fair enough. And look, one of them is an A class, and we've got two B classes. These are the new pirate sort of frigates, I guess. So I've got a couple of those that I'm trying to level up right now. And I'll just send out um, the good old Normandy with them. Why not? There you go. Off they go. Right, they're off on a new mission, a new adventure of their own. Let's head on over to the Nexus, people. You know what? I see you in the Nexus, and we'll have a look at this jetpack trail, people. Right, as so you can see there, that it's actually completed, and we're slowly edging into the next one. So let's go and have a look at what's up for offer with Johnny Five. It's the pyrotechnic jetpack trail, people. Oh gosh, brilliant. We're going to pick that one up. I'm quite looking forward to seeing this one, to be honest. That's the one I want. But yeah, awesome. Let's go and stick this on and let's go give it a test. I mean, I quite like the one I've got now. I mean, look at that. It's freaking awesome, isn't it? I guess it is. Yeah, I don't know when we're going to like the firework one more, to be honest. It feels a bit gimmicky. But, you know, if it's uh, that time of the year, or Guy Fawkes or whatever, why the fudge not? Have a little bit of fun with it. In fact, that's coming up soon, isn't it? Always remember the 5th of November. Not far off, anyway. All right, so here we go. Pyrotechnic Trail. Hmm, okay, that's a bit snazzy, isn't it? All right, well, we'll have that then. Okay. This is probably going to annoy me. Oh, no. Actually, that looks pretty darn cool. Oh, that would look great at night, wouldn't it? I guess it would. All right. Well, we'll keep that for now, then, people. But there you go. That's the new Jetpack Trail. I hope you go and pick up yours. Lovely. Probably be putting something like that in the thumbnail. But I, for me, right now, people, because I've done pretty much everything inside of No Man's Sky, what I'm up to right now is I'm trying to unlock every single word with the Viking right now. That's my main goal. And as a side goal, I'm learning the autophage words. I hear that there's 667 of them to be learnt. I'm now halfway there. And as I'm doing it, I'm also doing a few missions, getting a few radiant shards, and I'm also doing the few odd, odd um, autophage repairs. So I'm doing that right now, and I'm doing them on dissonant systems, in Viking dissonant systems, but I will be moving it on to Corbax and Gex systems to learn the new words for each of those races. Because I'm thinking if Hello Games are putting in all these new words for these races, it could be in the next update that they're thinking about putting in a whole load of new lore inside of game and story and i want to understand what's being said because i'm a bit of a law buff so yeah i'm doing the homework before it's been asked yeah i know it's, it's me just being diligent but yeah if you want to join me on this it's it's quite easily done i'm sharing the coordinates for these dissonant systems that i'm finding if i'm finding ones that are any good that is because sometimes you find dissonant worlds that have got no knowledge stones on or they're, they're very limited in knowledge stones that they've got on offer I'm having trouble spotting a dissonant world right now, people. So I only want the Viking ones. And when I get there, I'm going to be going into uh, the station and learning as many of the core Vi uh, Viking words as I can. There we go. We've got one. And I'll see you inside of the station, people, as I arrive. Unless I encounter one of those giant pirate dreadnoughts and I'll be back sooner. Right, well, I've arrived, Dakoted. No pirate dreadnoughts, sadly, people. Yes, I do want to encounter some more of those pirate dreadnoughts and take them out. It is good fun. I haven't done it for a little while. I was hoping that we might get one. But they usually appear in pirate space. I will be looking to up my ranking with the pirates at some stage. There might be a little bit of that happening there. Holy fudge, the station's right in a dangerous place. I don't want to shoot the asteroids for fear of hitting the station and triggering a load of sentinels. Anyways, you know the drill inside of here. I'm going to be talking to a shed load of Vikings, learning the Viking lingo. And if there are other races here, I'm going to chat to them too, because I need to learn the callbacks and the gag. Anyway, let's jump on out. I'm going to trigger that jetpack trial again, people. Let's have another look at that. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? There we go. 
Love those fireworks. Righto, well, let's uh, have a little word with this guy. So, I'm just going to be talking to them, and I'm just going to be going through, and I'll let you know. Hold on. Already learnt! It looks like we've learnt all of the Viking people inside the view of us. Heck yes, that we have learnt all of the Viking. So, how many words was that in total for the Viking? 919 words for the Viking. Right, well, I didn't really need to come to a Viking dissonant system then, did I? Heck no. All right, well, we'll move it on. You know what? We'll do Gek next, since there's a couple of Gek here. I'm going to talk to these Gek, and then I'm going to be jumping to a Gek dissonant system, people. Ha <laughs> ha! We've done all of the Viking. That's awesome news. There we go. Yes, blessed. Blessed indeed. I feel him blessed today, Mr. Gek. Well, I've jumped to a Gek dissonant system. It just so happens to be we've got ourselves a tropical planet, a dissonant tropical planet, this little red one, Vado. I don't think there's any other dissonant ones in this system. Nope, just that one, but it's Starbulb. Now, I do like putting bases down on the Starbulb type dissonant systems for each of the races, so that's a pretty nice find. I'm just going to head on over to the station, learn some Gek there, and then we'll be looking for a place to place down a base, and, um, yeah, hit up some knowledge stones, learn some more Gek, also learn some Autophage, but isn't this awesome? Okay, chums, I'm on the last Gek up here to talk to, but there is also a Corvax over there that I need to speak to, because we need to learn all the Corvax words. After we've learned all the Gek ones, you can see there there's still a bevy of um, Gek words to learn, because there's four sort of integers there. Okay, hello there, chappy. Yeah, we'll speak to this guy too. Oh, and there's only three on Corvax. There's less words for Corvax to be learned. Okay, that's interesting. All right, fine. Well, we're going to press on out then and fly on down to that lovely star ball the world once i break the atmosphere i'm going to call up a trading post so we can go speak to the geck at the trading post to learn some more words as well people i guess now i've got to find that blinking red planet it's always the last one i move my cursor over normally so you know what rather than go left to right i'm going to go right to left which is probably going to make no freaking difference okay right there we go let's go over this way then okay are you the red one i don't think it is no, that's New Masia. Okay, let's head this way then. There it is. Yeah, that's probably the last one, isn't it? I've gone round in a full 360. Righto, I'll see you down there, people. Cool, yeah. Kapow! Chums, well, I said that I was going to look for a trading post as soon as I broke the atmosphere. I've spotted a colossal archive. You can learn loads of words at colossal archives, people. This is great. And then I can always go land at a tra trading post later, can't I? So this is all good. Let's jump on out and let's go learn some words of the gag at this colossal archive. We can also hit up lore here, which is always nice as well. It's always like ancient lore that you find in the colossal archives, which is cool. All right, so let's head on over the ramp then. There's a little gecky dude right there. Hello, mate. Yeah, I would like a word, please. Thank you. Let's teach me your language. Okay, so here you go. This is what I mean. Look, there's four here. There's four. Once we've learnt a few words, this will drop down to three, then two, then one, and then we've learnt the language. So it always excites me when one disappears from that tier. Let's run around this and let's see if that actually happens, people. We'll see if it goes down to three. Okay, here we are. Hello there, buddy. Request dialogue help. An aggression symbol. We've got combat there. Okay, cool, yeah. Hello there, chum. I'm after words. Nothing more. Nothing less. Just your language. I guess. There's another one over here. Right, well, I think you get the idea, people. Well, you know what, chums? I'm going to put a base here at the Colossal Archive, because, heck, yeah, why the fudge not, mate? Might as well. I've, I honestly think something's going to happen with these Colossal Archives in the very near future, because look at them. They almost look like, you know those Space Station Part Bs or whatever they are? They look like they've got the same textures, the same sort of generic makeup. It almost looks like part of the stations, the new stations, have landed on the actual planet as break-off points. I honestly think we're going to get a lot more lore around these colossal archives. Anyway, let's put down a Bose computer right here. Chicka boom. Nice thing is I've got myself a trading post up there, Guild Envoy and all sorts going on here. And like I say, I think I think they're missing a few tricks with the Colossal Archives, and I honestly think a next update is going to heavily involve Colossal Archive rework and overhaul, or if not the next update, the next one, or the next one after that, you know? I think it's on the cards at some point, poops. Right, there we go. Let's put down a little base. Now, last time I built like a little autophage camp. 
I'm going to do the same again. I'm just going to build a really simple little mini autophage camp here because you get a really cool piece with the new autophage pieces. So if I just scroll on down, see if I can spot it. I mean, there's a little marquee there that I can use anyway, which this is quite cool anyway in itself because it gives a little bit of shelter. But I'll put down one of them because it almost looks like it's in keeping with the new autophage camp. But I quite like this because you stick it down. You've instantly got yourself like a little hut, you know? Yeah, so let's stick that right up by the marquee. Why the fudge not? Make it look like it's integral to it. There we are. Yes, uh, there you go. That, that kind of works, doesn't it? Nice. And then all I do is I put down a little teleporter. Coolio. Could put it inside of there, really, couldn't I? Or I could put it just to the back of here. So at least you emerge under a little bit of cover. Yeah, put that there. Fine. And I need to put down some power and stuff. You know what? I'll do this and I'll come back to you. Now, something that I think is really cool is you can actually scale this thing up. Okay, so if you scale it up big enough, you can make it like a little garage type tent for your exocraft, which it's pretty darn freaking epic. So I'm going to stick it there. You can see here I've got an auto, I've got an exocraft there already, but if I just delete that and I re-put down the exocraft inside of here, it makes it feel a lot more realistic, doesn't it? So I've stick that in there. Done. And the reason I like this exocraft is because this planet has got water on and that little exocraft scooches across the top of water like a little pond skater. So it's perfect for that sort of shenanigans. Anyway, I thought I'd just come back to you just for that little mini tidbit. Well, OK, people, I am back. Let's go into camera mode, put the sun in the sky so I can show you this lovely base and all of its glory. So I put down a load of these... Um, planter bays. I need to put some plants in there. But I've got my little uh, weapons terminal guy there. I've got my exocraft terminal at the back there. And my exocraft inside this lovely little canopy. Got my little overseer there. So yeah, got all my little trading posts. So I could do daily missions should I ever need to. Got a little um, farmer dude inside of there. Got my technology under here along with my science terminal as well and an appearance modifier if I need to test out any jet pack trails or change things up or anything like that. Got all the power I need, at least I hope I have. I've got myself a Galactic Trade Terminal there, save point, blueprint machine and a large refiner. Everything I need at this little autophagy type camp. I haven't put in autophage bits laying about at the moment, people. Um, but yeah, these legs didn't quite touch the floor, so I put some tubs on the bottom of them. That makes that work. Anyway, I just need to put some plants in and then I'm done. Okay, jumps. Well, I think that's about the base done. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm going to be heading off now and um, you know, hopefully finding an autophage camp. And if there's some of those shards nearby, I'll be getting those. What shards are they again? Let's have a look. The radiant shards. We're getting some radiant shards. And yeah, learning some autophagy words and maybe even hitting up some knowledge stones and learning a few more gek words. Righto. Thank you very much, Exo. Oh, look, it's a stone's throw away. There's a camp right in freaking front of us. I can walk there. It's right there. And look, there's loads of those shards right around it. Awesome. That's luck be had it, people. Luck be had it. Righto, let's head on over then. Let's go and say hello to my little autophagy friends. Right, so let's just hit that up. Bang. There we go. We've got a little autophage camp right by my little makeshift autophage camp. I'm just jumping over here because I'm going to be using my lovely ionic beam to get these radiant shards while we're here, people. I think that might be a radiant shard over there. I don't know whether I can tickle it from here. I can get that one, though. That's not, that's a lad Atlantium because it's got Sentinels all jarred on it. But that's that's definitely one over there. That's going to take a hop, skip and a jump to hit it, I think. Let's just uh, jump on over. Oh, has it got Sentinels in it? No, it hasn't. There's a couple here. There's another three. That was, a, that was a worthwhile jump. Taking us a little way away from the camp, but we do need to hit on up a lot of these Radiant Shards. Now, the thing with Radiant Shards, people, just if you don't know this... But even though we're getting quite a lot of them, if you just put Radiant Shards into here, a stack of 10, you're going to get 500 Nanite Clusters out. Now, I've already got 500 Nanite Clusters there. There you go. 500. 10 equals 500 Nanites. It's a great way to get yourself a load of Nanites and also to satisfy one of the things for the Autophages. So, 
there is that anyway let's head on back on over to the autophage camp before I lose sight of it yeah you can you can get sidetracked doing this sort of stuff people and I do also want to look for a load of knowledge stones in a bit there's another one of those radiant shards there lovely let's head on down let's go chat to these autophages hello buddy how are you mate <laughs> look at him right there. and then you just go down to here practice language so I learned the language first boom I should get one word got another 300 of these words to get people so we're not done by a long shot and then I go to offer assistance and this one is to repair a lost auto page brilliant we need to do some more of that so that's all good I'm just going to be walking around, talking to the rest, doing exactly the same with all of them. Sometimes the missions aren't to repair an autophage. Sometimes there's some sort of very quick fetch quest, which is great. So there we are. Hello, mate. Go back in. Let's just see what mission he's got, just to show you what I mean. Collect paraffinium. And, you know, this is this is a star bramble plate. I don't know why I'm all the way over there. Pretty weird. But I've got the paraffinium he needs. There's your paraffinium, mate. Boom. Get a lot of void moats. Now, the only trouble with the void moats, I don't think they break down into nanites. You know what? I've not checked. I, I don't think they do. It'd be nice if they did, um, because at the moment I've, I've got I've got the stuff I want, so I've got no real need for these void moats. No, they don't turn into anything that's useful. Do they sell for quite a lot? That looked like they sell for quite a fair bit there. They do sell for a lot. I'm going to be flogging those. I'm getting myself freaking unit rich. Heck yes, why the fudge not? Yeah, brilliant, eh? Oh, would you look at this one? This one's got a missing arm. That's the first time I've come across one that's actually got a missing limb. How are you holding that freaking data pad, though? That was freaking weird, wasn't it? But yeah, look, it's got a missing arm, people. Well, that's a shame. You need to go to a second-hand shop, my friend. Okay, well, let's go over here. Let's go over there. I don't know whether that's meant to be like that or whether there's an issue there. But this is the first one I've come across with a missing armature. He does look freaking knackered though, doesn't he, this guy? Bless him. Alright, anyway, let's hit him up. Let's go turn in that ship scrap. There you are. Done, diddly done. And that's those three visited. So out of those three visited, I got given one mission to go fix an auto page. So we go do that. Also... Now that I've got my exocraft just over yonder hill, I'm going to hit on up another monolith so I can learn some more sort of gecky words while we're here, people. Oh, would you look at that? My tent is not there. Oh, there it is now. Let's go into here then. Let's use this exocraft to scan for a monolith. You know what? I'll, I'll scan again. But this time I'll scan for a relic site. So there you go. There's two more places that I can hit up for um, monoliths, or not monoliths, knowledge stones, and get myself some more words, people. So now I need my shippity ship. But first we're gonna go and fix up that autophage that's um, a bit knackered. So if I go to the log, make sure I'm on the right, the right mission. There we go. And it's just over yonder hill. All right, cool. Well, I'm gonna go fix that autophage. Then I'm gonna go to the monolith. And I'm also going to go to the relic site. And then I'm probably going to go to a trading post and learn some more words. I know. Freaking riveting. Well, I've arrived, Decated. But there's a broken autophage. As I run down here, I can do another scan, bring up some more autophages, and learn some more words. There you go. You're fixed, mate. Let's go and um, interact with it. Give it some Atlantium. There you go. Brilliant. The 11th. Okay. And we'll do a scan there. Boom! We've got ourselves a whole load more autophages to talk to. Oh, this one's got a missing arm as well. Maybe it is supposed to be like that then. Practice language. Learn dialect help. Lovely. And a trade symbol. Okay, and I'm doing the same again. Right, so before I go to that um, knowledge place yes my knowledge place the friggin's monolith and also the relic site i've got some knowledge stones here that i can hit just in the wild which is the beauty of doing this on a fairly interesting planet so i tend to do these sort of things and these dissonant worlds that are lush i'm going to head towards this radiant shard when we get to the radiant shard we'll see if there's any other knowledge stones around before i go over to the monolith and the relic sites let's just head on over here blast these lovely 
Lovely. Yeah, lovely. I'll just stand on top of hill. And we'll have a look see if there's any other knowledge stones around people. Any any other knowledge stones? Finding two like that next to each other in the wild was quite a find. But no, it doesn't look like there's any others around here. There's some more radiant shards though in leaping distance. Oh, there's one right there. Boom. You're done. Okay. Now I have had it before where knowledge stones just fail to appear. And then as I'm going to a radiant shard, I come across some knowledge stones as I'm flying over yonder hill. Is it going to happen this time? Yes, look, there's one just there. Didn't show up on radar, but there it is, sitting right there in the freaking open. So what I would suggest to you people is as you're jumping around planets like this, is just keep your eyes open for knowledge stones. They don't always show up on your old scanner. Just head towards some radiant shards. I mean, look, you can see the ones that I locked in were after the knowledge stone. But for whatever reason, the knowledge stone didn't want to show up. OK, right out. So again, there's some radiant shards over there. So if I hit those in, let's have a look see if we can see any knowledge stones. I can't see any knowledge stones on the old radar. But let's just see if we can spot one by eye as we're leaping over towards us. I mean, sometimes you don't spot them. Sometimes you do. I mean, this is quite a decent landscape and terrain for spotting them because nothing is really all that geometric on this landscape apart from the knowledge stones. They've got a rather flat top to them, haven't they? OK, and I didn't see any. But yeah, doesn't mean I, there wasn't any around. There's a good chance I could have just missed them with my eye peepers. It's just that the scanner isn't always as reliable as a scanner should be for spotting knowledge stones currently, people. Anyway, there we go. I've done that anyhow. So let's call in the old ship. Let's head on over to the monolith. And then after that, I go to the relic site. I'll see you at the monolith. OK, for whatever reason, people, the monolith has disappeared from my scanner. But the ancient ruin site is still there, so I can always go in to the ancient ruin site, call in my um, exocraft, and then hit on up a monolith. Then we can go to a trading post, and then I think we're about done for a day, where we'll look at the stats and see how we're doing. Then we'll go see how we are for our frigate fleet, see if um, they've actually finished their actual mission, which I doubt they have, because yeah, I don't think it's quite been two hours as yet, people. Then I'm going to start my working day. All right, anyways, let's uh, touch on down here. Cool, I can see two monolith, two two knowledge stones already. Maybe there might be a third here. Yep, I can see a third one right now. So here we go. Hey, yeah, there's usually three. Sometimes there's two, but there's usually three. One. Oh, learned the word for autophage. That's cool. I think every single race, Gek, Corvax, and Viking. I've got the word for autophage. So I think we're definitely going to get some more lore and story around the autophages, but not just being spoke about by the autophages, but also the other races know that they're there now. The Gek, the Viking and the Corvax. Interesting freaking stuff, wouldn't you say, people? Well, I would. Anyway, I'm going to get a picture here for my thumbnail, I think, people. Let's, uh, let's do that. Yeah, why not? Because we just started the Gek language. I think that's a fitting photo. Thank okay, yes. Chickaboom! I'll stick that on the old Twitterverse so I can grab it and put it into my Photoshop and turn it into a thumbnail. Yeah, there we go. Post. I swear that takes twice as many clicks as it used to. Yeah. If something's not broke, they shouldn't fix it, should they? Right, anyway, let's head on over here then. Pop into there. Boom. And let's go and scan on up a monolith, because I lost my monolith for whatever reason, people. All right. Boom! There we go. Ancient monolith detected. Where are you, ancient monolith? Okay. It's all the way over there. Chickapow. Where's my shippity ship? Opposite side. Cool. We're we'll head on over there. Then I'll head to a trade post. Learn a little bit more gek. Sweet. See you at the monolith. Okay, we've touched down right by a radiant shard or two. I guess. Might as well grab those. Lovely. What the fudge? Head on over this way. Is that another one over there? No, I think that's just Atalantium. Alright, let's head on over then. Let's hit on up these knowledge stones. Lovely. Well, for material. 
toxins. Oh, at that relic site, I could have hit up the actual podium at the top and said, learn a word, couldn't I? I could have learned one more word there. I missed a trick. Done. Could have got four there. Whoopsie. Okay, let's head on into here then. Yeah, do it to the brain. Okay, right. We didn't learn any new words from doing that though. Okay, well we can look at look. There's a mon there's um, a knowledge stone right over there. I keep calling knowledge stones monoliths. What the fudge am I like? Get okay, us head on over then. Let's hit this one up. Go. Cool. It's actually shown me one on my scanner do hickey. Pow! Nice. Right. Oh. Well, um, I don't think there's any others in close proximity to this one. Oh, that's a lie. Is that one right there? Ah, it's the ones that they freaking... Yeah, that's the problem with doing that. Whatever reason, even though you've activated something or been to it, it still shows up a marker for it. Oddities. Anyways, we've done that. I'm going to head to a trading post now, people. So because I've got the economy scanner installed in my ship, I can simply press down here, go over there, get to the economy scanner, because it's installed technology. And I found myself a trading post. It's 11 minutes away. So I'm going to boost on up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear, where there's less friction, and then just loop on down and go to the trading post. My gosh. Lock on on. I'm going to head on down. And we're going to go speak to some Gek at the trading post, learn some more words, see if there's any knowledge stones in close proximity. But yeah, hopefully we're going to get this Gek wordage done relatively quickly. We'll see how many Gek words they're actually offering up. You know, it was four before. Let's see if that's dropped to three now. I'm hoping there's less Gek words than there were by Keen words. So, Kurt, the No Man's Sky assistant app maker, did send me a list of all the words to be learned. Viking was the most, Gek second most, Corvax hardly any. So, there we go. Request dialect help. I say hardly any, there were still over a hundred. Okay, so there we go. And nope, we're still on four. We're still on four, people. I don't even think we're going to drop this down to three in this episode, which is mental. Oh, we have! It's down to three! Yes! Brilliant! Okay, well, that's made some progress, people. That's made me a very happy bunny. Coolio. And we've now got this planet that I can just teleport back to any time I want and start setting up knowledge stones. And it's a fairly decent planet for doing that. Now, if you want to join me here, if you want to put down a base, you can. There you go. There's the actual coordinates in the bottom corner there, peeps. Go and hit that one up. Lovely jobs. If you are to build a base here, don't build it too close to mine or that colossal archive, please. And uh, also, if you see any other bases, just sort of give them maybe 2,000 views or something distance, just, just in case they build something complex. Okay, right, let's head on over here then. We don't want people's games clashing. Heck no, we don't. Hello there, you. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, no, you're not going to have that terminal. Ty Leaf has got that one. I'm, I'm quite partial to my residence on my base. Right, well, there we go, people. I'm going to head on back on up to my freighter. I mean, I could spend some more time here shooting some of those shards. Let's just have a quick look, though, at how we're getting on. So here we are. Gek language. We're on 819 words of the Gek. That's a lot, isn't it? That really is a lot. Autophage-wise, how are we doing? We're now on 350 words. We're going to get to 450 to trigger the next milestone. We've, we've repaired a few autophages, not many this episode. I think we've done one or two. Uh, the actual Radiant Shards have made a bit of progress, but no, we haven't triggered the next milestone. But yeah, we're doing okay. Mission's completed. I think we're now as high up as we need to get with that one. But I don't know about the standing, so I'd carry on hitting up the missions. I've got to get the Autophage Repair missions anyway. So yeah, we're still having to do that. So there you go, people. I'll see you on board my freighter. We will be debriefing the Frigate Commanders and sending them out on their next sort of sortie. Well, how do their chums, right? Well, I am back, and it's now time to debrief. Let's do this again. I mean, we do this at the start of the video. We do it at the end of the video. Yeah, fun times. There we go, people. Let's go on through. So we've got a few bits. We've got a weird thing there. What the fudge was that? Okay, a carrier AI fragment. Okay, fine. Okay, brilliant. Let's hit this up then. Hit a save. And I think we're about good. We're just going to send our frigates out on another expedition. 
Hopefully they might have leveled up a bit. Let's have a look, see. And I'm going to choose one with the highest difficulty with the longest amount of time. We're going to go for a six hour patrol mission, which these frigates are pretty much made for. Because, yes, they are sort of like combat vessels. So we go, boom, boom, and boom. And then I'll just pick up, I don't know, say that one. We'll send the Normandy again. I guess. You know what, let's send an organic vessel too. There's a chance it might come back with a Cynotic Ed or something more interesting than we're getting. There we are. Done and dusted. Let's just go on up. Let's go and hit a save. And that's me done for another day, people. Okay, so we've learnt a fair bit of Gek, learned some Autophage, done a fair few missions, and we're sending our frigates out on missions. So that's pretty much everything that I'm doing inside of No Man's Sky right now. I do want to build out my freighter a bit different, or at least make an additional room inside my freighter for my news desk. Yes, I want to build a new news desk. I'll probably do it out in the open in the back area, but we'll do that another episode. Anyway, I want to say a massive great big thank you to everybody who's been watching these videos. I know it's not the most interesting thing, but this is all I've got left to do inside of No Man's Sky, people. If you're liking what you see, hit that subscribe button. Maybe share this video out with friends. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.